Hello, may the good Lord bless you and guide you and protect you in Jesus' name. Amen. God will restore everything the enemy has stolen from you. God will restore. According to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 3, it says that the Almighty God will surely restore all we lost. The book of John 10.10 10 says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. We need to have faith that God is able to restore everything the enemy has stolen from us. Our peace, our joy, our health, our finances, our time, our dreams. Believe, nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is too hard for God. When life throws us a curve ball, we don't have to accept it, whatever issue is going on in our lives right now. We must remember that it is not over. Whatever the enemy stole, whether it is our health, our financial security, our peace of mind, or anything else that is there to us, God promises to restore it, regardless of what Satan says. Jesus will have the last word because restoration is God's will for us. Hallelujah. If we are so experienced this supernatural restoration, however, we must have faith that it will happen. King David, who suffered much adversity, confessed that he would have fainted and given up if he had not believed he would see God's goodness, refusing to fear and instead rejoicing and being glad when nothing is going right, opens the door to allow God to do great things and restore to us all the lost years. According to the spiritual laws, God has established when he's caught, the thief is required to restore sevenfold what he stole from us. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but God brings full restoration to the point where our lives are overflowing. He makes everything better than before. God brings back all the hope and joy that was missing from our lives before we establish a relationship with him. When we recall how we felt when we got born again, we realize he was accepted us as he has accepted us as his beloved children. He restores us unto the joy of salvation. When everything comes in on us, rejoicing in the Lord makes him our strength, our causes us to walk upon high places. Joy, gladness, and restoration are linked. When we get our joy back, other things will also be restored because the joy of the Lord is our strength. God is indeed the God of the turnaround. Let us just do this prayer. Father God, it's not your will that the enemy steal anything from your children that you want us to have. Jesus came and restored everything that was stolen from us. In the beginning, now we no longer have to settle for less than the best. We are so grateful for what you did in Jesus' name. Amen. Then I want to give you some scriptures to guide you. Jeremiah 30 verse 17, Psalm 27 verse 13, Jewel chapter, uh, chapter 2 verse 21, 23 and 25. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 31, John 10, 10, Psalm 51 verse 12, Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 to 19, Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. And also remember that God will restore your wasted years. God says, I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the pearl worm. My great army, which I sent among you, Jewel chapter 2, 25. How many years did you waste before you repented and surrendered all to Jesus? How many years of your past life were eaten up by the canker worm of sin and rebellion? You know you are forgiven and you are past forgetting because it is under the blood of Jesus. But wouldn't you love to get back those years and leave them for the glory of the Lord? How often have you thought, I could have been so much further in Christ. I could have brought so much joy to his heart. I could have saved myself and my f family. 
Hallelujah. So much pain and suffering. How blind and stupid I was. How enslaved by the devil. How close I came to losing my soul and my sanity. I can never make up for all those vested years. Who told you? Who told you? In his final days, Paul looked back over his life and testified, I have fought a good fight. Hallelujah. I have kept the faith. Now, a crown of righteousness is awaiting me. So I'm telling you, a crown, a crown of righteousness is waiting for you. Do not put fear. God has remembered you. You are restored. In everything you're going to do, you are restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Your marriage is restored. Your finances is restored. And God will continue to go before you, guide you and protect you all the days of your life. You, you will not see sorrow. Continue believing in God. Continue trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. He says he will restore you. Believe it. Almighty God will restore you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please remember to subscribe to Wisdom TV Nigeria and share this little video. May the Lord bless you.